Yes, sir. <sighs> PSA. Hey, we're finna get into the fact that uh, there's no way two people populated the whole world. I, I, I've been on YouTube for a long time, been around for a little minute now, and uh, I ain't really seen nobody challenge this thought. I ain't never seen nobody challenge this theory. I mean, I know I see a lot of scholars and uh, educators and philosophers and people got their numbers and their dialogue and got their educated guesses. And there's a lot of content creators who have talked about this topic, but I'm a common sense thinker. To let y'all know, I ain't been to no college, I ain't got no degree, I ain't no high class, none of that. I'm a common sense thinker, big picture thinker, real life, real person from this planet, true to this planet, true to the true to the true to Mother Earth. I under I understand the ancestors, I understand the past, I understand how how important it is to be grounded with nature and to understand who you is. And I understand that we live in a corrupt system. And this corrupt system. This is one of the mind frames that they really, really want you to stick to. Because believing that two people populated the whole world, it, it, it draws back to a lot. It helps them justify a lot. A lot of shit that they do. Because if you really break this shit down, the, real, the, the reason that we really believe this thought or have this thought Believe this shit even is possible. It's because of Adam and Eve. The Bible. A lot of people gonna think I'm crazy. A lot of people call me crazy. But I'm gonna talk this shit anyway because I am a thinker. I don't just go for what people tell me and you know that's it. I'm thinking. And when I think about this shit, the more I think about this shit, it's like, okay, Adam and Eve, you got two people, two people populate the whole world. This is the most famous theory of our beginning. <clears throat> if this is true, there had to be inbreeding going on. There had to be incest going on. Somebody had to be doing some inbreeding. But when you read the book, it says that, you know, of course, Cain killed Abel and Cain went off and found a wife and this, that, and third. But the book is elaborated by people in a way in which Adam and Eve was the first two people. So my beef with it is either people need to stop elaborating it wrong or y'all need to teach this story right that this is just a story of allegory of how people came to be. This is not reality. This is just like a uh, uh, like a allegorical story, Esau's fable story of how man came to be you know and then if scientifically if you want to talk about it it's the it's the atom like neutrons electrons atoms and the mitochondrial eve gene which represents the woman so like if, if you want to look at this in a in whatever type of way you can but the way i look at it you know i i i don't shame nobody's game i agree with the mitochondrial eve and the atom, you know i agree with stuff like that but when I break it down, the reality of it, what I truly, truly think about it is that people came about everywhere. Ain't no way two people created everybody. Even that Noah, Noah's Ark story is some bullshit. So the only reason that everybody believed this is because of the Bible, of course. And this is like the most famous story all over America. And I think it's time for this mentality to be done away with. We got to stop looking at people like this because this helps the powers that be get away with a lot of stuff because if this is true then the rest of the bible is true the rest of that stuff is true so they they supposed to have this they supposed to be doing that in a, in a way if you get what i'm saying because i'm a big picture thing i'm not thinking on, i'm not thinking about this on a small scale just biblical i'm thinking hey if it was just two people on, on the planet then they 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 had to do some 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 you know some grown folk shit to make some kids. <clears throat> so who who the hell they made their kids with? So the Adam and Eve story is the reason why this shit is so famous. But like I said, there's got to be some inbreeding. Inbreeding is defined as mating between individuals that are related by ancestry and is more likely to uh most likely in populations that are 
or have been small. Now, there are records of inbred families. There are recorded inbred families. There are families that have tried to inbreed. There are families that tried to keep the money in the family by inbreeding. There are families that tried to keep the, the royal blood within the family by inbreeding. Why not, why not just create more people? If there's a if there's a God that created two people, why not just create more people so you ain't got to worry about, you know, inbreeding. But at the same time, in the book, it says he did create more people. Said he created, he created people. He created all type of people. But people don't elaborate like that, especially preachers, especially just on a major scale, just on just critical thinking and just talking to people in general public. People don't look at it like that. Everybody, everybody think Adam and Eve was real. Like it was only two people. Even when you talk about people, when they talk about the oldest bones found, it's all that. They always talk about, yeah, the oldest, oldest bones found in Africa. And they go back to uh, the Garden of Eden. See what I'm saying? That Adam and Eve story is thick in our thought process. And that helped, that, that kind of suppresses us from looking at people differently. Because we all are different. Even though they preach to us, tell us we the same, we not the same. We don't eat the same. We don't breathe the same. Our bodies ain't built the same. We don't take the sun the same. We're not supposed to be eating the same stuff. We, we're not from the same habitat. People, it's, it's different people all over the world. Some people got the same complexion. Some people don't. It just It's just life. We're not all the same. The Bible has two creation elaborations. Now, me personally, I'm not a Christian. <clears throat> I don't believe everything in the, the, the Bible. I understand that the Bible was put together by some, some dudes and stuff like that. But I understand that God is a, a concept created by man to represent the unknown, to represent that higher essence of us and the unknown of what we what we just we know it's there, but we don't we can't put a finger on it. You know, that's like just God. It's everything good in us. We add another O in there, it's good. Every, everything that helps us live a long life, a long, happy life is God. So I think that um, that that concept to me is more understand, more, I'm, it's, it's more understood now uh, on my behalf now that I've stepped outside of Christianity. When I was in Christianity, I thought that God was this man sitting on the throne. He gonna punish you. He, he send people down. He send demons. He get, you know, I, I thought some spooky shit. I thought I could talk to him, you know, I was waiting on him to say something back, you know, I, it was all type of shit going on with, with Christianity, but once I stepped out of it, I was able to understand God more, and once I started reading the Bible and studying it, I seen that it was two creation elaboration, chapter one and chapter two, you got in the beginning, and then you got chapter two where he created, you know, you just really have to read it and not read it emotionally, like, oh, this is the truth, you gotta read it like yeah, it's the truth, but there's some flaws in there. In, cave, cave, this is a caveman mentality. Inbreeding. This is a caveman mentality. Straight up. Inbreeding will cause major birth defects and lifetime deficiencies. Like I said, there's been a lot of families who tried it and failed. Tried it and failed. So if there was, if there's a person who created all this, why does he have to inbreed with the beginning? But like I said, let's read the Bible. This this chapter one, verse twenty five, I believe, or chapter two, one up some up. <clears throat> but this is this is the first creation story. So God made the wild animals, the tame animals, and all the small crawling animals to produce more of their own kind. God saw that this was good. Then God said, "Now you see, God speaking. God said." Let us make human beings in our image and likeness and let them rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky. Let them rule over the tame animals, over all the earth and over all the small crawling animals of the earth. Now, what I can't understand is if this is God in the beginning, God, this is, you know, G-O-D. It don't say gods with an S. It say G-O-D. It says, let us make human beings in our image. Who is us? That right there should shoot up a red flag for you right there. To let you know that, you know, there's, there ain't no man in the sky. This is all concepts put together to help us live good. Straight up. And this, this is knowledge that's been around for 
centuries and decades and forever. And people can elaborate and put it together however they want. And we've had these corrupt motherfuckers come put this shit together and crusade it into people's minds to make them believe that there's somebody up there watching over you and going to do something to you. But if you break down and, re- and study the shit, you'll see it's not nothing like that. It's the total. Out. Like I said, I had to step outside of it to understand it. Let us make human beings in our image. That right there lets you know people putting this together. Let let us make humans in our image like this. Let them rule. So that's the first creation story. He said, "Let us make human beings." It say beings. It don't say human being. It say he made human beings. So that means he made a lot of them. Then you go to chapter two and it say. Then the Lord God took dust from the ground and formed man from it. The Lord breathed the breath of life into the man's nose, and the man became a living person. Then the Lord God planted a garden in the east, in the place called Eden. He put a man, he put the man he had formed in that garden. So in chapter two, it's saying God created a man from dust, breath, breathed breath into him, and put him in Eden. So maybe God was talking about this specific man, which was Adam. He already created people. So now he's, but see, people elaborate this like he's creating man. This is how he created man. Because when you, when you ask anybody in general public, preacher, deacon, whatever, he's going to tell you that, yeah, yeah, God created man from dust. But it didn't say that in the first chapter. It said, let us create him in our image. I don't think God's image is dust. See what I'm saying? And then we'd be like, oh, we, we kind of elaborated with our skin tone and be like, oh, well, we brown skin, so yeah, it had to be the No, because there's light-skinned people. There's there's peach-colored, pink-colored people. There's beige-colored people. There's brown, chocolate, and all type of different colored people. You can't just say everybody the color of dust, because everybody ain't. Some people the color of ice. So in chapter one, we're talking about we're going to, the Lord said we're going to make us, make man in our image. And then in chapter two, we're going to make man from dust. So which one is it? Did we make man from dust did we do, or did we make man from our image? Which one did God do? So I don't know if God high, he on that bone or what, you know, or what's going on, what they was on. <clears throat> but if you go study the conference of Nicaea and understand that this Bible is a book of books. Let me say that again. The Bible is a book of books put together the way that they want it you will understand why stories overlapping each other through the Bible. Because there's a lot of stories that overlap each other. Some stories, you will read about it in a certain book, then on seven books down the line, it'll pick up on the same story it was talking about 30 books ago. Like, it's crazy. So you have to understand that, well, I don't really want you to understand. This is the way I understand the Bible. It's not to be taken literal. It's allegorical. It's an allegorical source for the human being that's been around for decades. It's knowledge has been around for decades. And, you know, some people, Caucasians, whatever you want to call them, took it and switched it up and put it the way they wanted to put it. Then you got the Quran, you got these other books that other people done put together and put their spin on uh, what we call religion. You know, this is just like things that help you live good life. Like, <clears throat> like you got the 42 negative professions in Egypt. That's why the same stuff is on the Ten Commandments, because this stuff been around for eons. And people, we get this knowledge and we put it together and use it how we want to use it. But, you know, nowadays, these people have just took it and used it against people. They play against your intelligence with it. Now they got you thinking there's somebody up in the sky that's ruling everything and they're going to punish you when you do something. When in reality, everything's random. Everything's random. <clears throat> Ain't nobody going to punish you for nothing. That's nothing. Everything in your life is, is up to you. Whatever you want to do is up to you. Inbreeding history. Let's look at the history of inbreeding since, since, since Adam and Eve was by themselves. And people, because I'm telling you, I had conversations with people on a daily basis in real in real life. And they and some people really believe it's Adam and Eve stuff. So, you know, it had to be some inbreeding going on. But most inbreeding was going on in the Neanderthal world. Now, they say King Tut was an inbreed, but I don't believe that. I think that, you know, they they got it confused because they would marry cousins and stuff like that to keep the royal crown. It wasn't about no fucking, you know, they wasn't fucking each other. 
you know, Neanderthals was really fucking each other. And it's true because down south, I'm from Bama. Down here, you have, I ain't trying to knock y'all none, but you have white folks who be fucking with their cousins and shit. Like, literally, having kids with them and shit. Fucking with their sisters and shit. Like, and be cool. As y'all can see, the Irish Royals tried it. Short Creek family tried it in America over here. Charles II in Spain. Queen Victoria's family tried it. The Rockefeller family tried it. And the Neanderthals are historically known. Genetically tested. I don't know how they did it, but they say, you know, but to me, with them saying Neanderthals, that's me understanding that they know their history. Because y'all know the people that give us this so-called history is, is them people. So they know their history. They know what they've been about. We're not the same. And this is the main reason why I'm making this video because I feel like all species of people should be controlling their own people. Like all genotype of people should be controlling their people. And if you want to say it like how we know today, black people should be controlling black people, white people should be controlling white people. It shouldn't be nobody over nobody. Should nobody be dominion over nobody. Like me as a brother, I shouldn't turn my TV on and look at the politicians and the leaders and it ain't number white folks. Europeans, foreigners. So I feel like all people should be occupying and doing their own thing with their people. Because we are not the same. We don't eat the same. We don't take the sun the same. We don't dance the same. We don't move to the same beat. We don't think the same. We don't even see the world the same. We're not from the same habitat. We're the same species. we just different breed. We're from a different habitat. Produced from different habitat. We all bleed. Look, when people tell y'all that shit, we, we, we all, well, we all bleed red. We the same. A zebra bleed red. A dog bleed red. A monkey bleed. Uh, anything you squash. A mosquito bleed red. A fly bleed red. Anything you squash bleed red. That mean we the same. Y'all really got to think about this shit. That, that make us the same. You cut a fish open, it's gonna be it's gonna have some red blood cutting my that mean we the same. Blood is red. We are a product of this planet. All blood is just red. Like I said, we are the same species, yeah. Same species, humans, whatever you want to call us, but we different breeds. We're not the same breed. All right, we are animals, we are nature. Like I said, same species, different breed. Look around the world, it's all type of different breeds of human. And I think every breed of human should be occupying and controlling where we at or where you at or where I'm at. Nobody should be over the other. Now, a lot of people might throw a lot of shade out there and be like, man, you know, it's just the way it is, whatever. This is the way God and that's, I don't, I'm not a believer in that. I don't think there's no man in the sky. Like I told you, God is an essence. God ain't no person controlling the puppeteering shit. God is a concept. So, with that being said, us as people have to understand that we should be controlling our own people. Should nobody else be over us? But these people have figured out all type of ways to keep us suppressed and distracted from that. And this is one of them, thinking that we are all the same. And we're not. Once we understand that we need our own space, we understand the importance of getting more into leadership, getting back into policy. This, this is why our, our granddaddies and great granddaddies and shit was into it. Everybody was into the po the political views and being revolutionaries and all that shit. This is why. Because we need to be doing our own shit. Real talk. Humans have been here for a long time. Yes, sir. And you a fool to not think so. If you think humans been here for 6,500 years, you need to go to the mirror in the bathroom right now and slap the fuck out yourself. Adam and Eve dated at 6,500 years. That's what they say. <clears throat> but then on the flip, they go dig up some bones and tell you the oldest human remains is 7 million years. So if Adam and Eve dated at 6,500, how the oldest human bones is 60, at 7 million? You see what I'm saying? They tell them themselves all the time. And they claim it's found in Africa. That's, that's their way of their Garden of Eden story. A lot of people ride with that. They okay with the oldest bones in Africa. They, they you go right there. You know, maybe maybe the Bible didn't have the dates so right a little bit. You know, you can't say that when you're saying it's God's book. God's book got to be the ultimate truth. 
So you can't hit sit here and say Adam and Eve at sixty five hundred. Then talking about the oldest bones was found in Africa at seven million, two million, five million, seventeen, whatever you want to say. Now in reality, over six thousand ancient bodies have been recorded. That's with the mummies and all that. Six thousand. Now I want y'all to understand that some of y'all might be like, dang, that's a, I didn't found a lot of bodies. That ain't shit. That ain't shit. Y'all know how big the world is. You know how many people done lived and died on this planet? You know how many people is on the planet now? Think about how many people, 6,000 people live. 6,000 people is probably like a high school gym, a packed high school gym. A little packed, little... They, they, they ain't scratched the surface on finding human bodies, man. That is, that, that, that's a nice little chunk, though. That's a nice little number, though. But at the same time, we got to understand they have not... Well, us humans, we probably never dig up everywhere. But we've been here for a very, very long time. And ain't no way we just came from two people. Humans sprouted up everywhere, just like every other animal. We animals, too. If you want to say two people started a, uh, everything, then you got to say it was, two, it was two giraffes. Or it was just two fish at the beginning. It was just two birds at the beginning. It was just two. You know, you got to break everything down to that then. It was just two of that. But some of y'all might be like, well, it was because Noah. Ain't you gotta go even before Noah? Cause Noah wasn't the beginning. Noah was a, Noah was still Adam and Eve's seed, so to speak. So you got you know what I'm saying? You gotta re break the shit down. Look, <laughs> one day I was sitting up and I created this generation calendar because I'm looking at my ancestry too. I'm still learning shit. I've been in my ancestry for probably ten years now. I'm I'm still looking up shit, finding shit. But a generation calendar help you understand how many people it take to make you. And while a lot of this stuff about our background and our answer, a lot of this stuff is just nonsense. Because you you go you go far back a little bit, man. There's so many people, man. Ain't no way you can tell just who you is or where you come from. You can't say that you got so many ancestors. You could be everything. A new generation born every 20 or 30 years. Most people have their kids around 20, 30 years old. Most people have kids. You know what I'm saying? A hundred years is five generations, just so to speak. Say say every 25 years, somebody born, something like that. You know, whatever. Or every 20 years, every somebody born. We all have a mama and daddy. It takes millions of people to make you who you are today. That's why it's millions of people around right now. That's why I say people sprouted up. We, I mean, people might be like, man, I, people just sprout. No, nah, we, we'll never know. That's a mystery nobody will ever know. But my hypothesis is we are animals. We are part of this planet. And I believe our ancestors knew that. That's why they were so in tune with nature. That's why they lived so long. That's why everything was natural. That's why we trying to we try we we crawling trying to get back to natural shit. If y'all ain't noticed. Everybody, foods, hair, everything, clothes, we trying to we crawling trying to get back to nature. Our ancestors been through this. We we animals. All right. You got two parents, you go back, you got four grandparents. You got eight great grandparents. Then you got 16 great. Then if you keep on going back to the 1800s and all that, look, you got 32 grand. Then you got 64. Everything doubles. Everything doubles because everybody got parents. So once you get on back to the 17, 1800s, it's thousands of people. It take thousands and thousands of people to make them. Ain't no way you're going to go back and dig up all them people. So that Ancestry.com and all that DNA test shit is bullshit. Ain't no way they can do that. And the way you can go back and get all these people and figure out just who you is. What you would have to do, what what people today, you'll probably have to go back to probably like the 1900s or maybe the 1800s if you can and get them 16. Find your 16 great grandparents, your great, great, great grandparents and find out who they are. And then you can get an idea of where you come from or, and who you was and all that. Because going back to the 1700s and all that shit is pointless, man, because it's thousands of people you take to make you. That's why I can, it is no way possible it could have been two people on the planet. Out of Africa theory. That out of Africa theory was a, a white man theory that created like everybody he seen that was dark skinned, or oh, they came from Africa. They moved, they 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 moved out of here. What you need? Get out of here. Go, go in the room. But then, yeah, that out of Africa theory. That's that's that theory that uh they want you to believe that everybody comes. Uh, off a boat, and uh, we've we've on, we've always been uh, what they call less of what they are, 
and and uh uh primitive that's the word i'm looking for but in in reality like i said our ancestors were connected with nature they weren't worried about all this building machines and manipulating manipulate nature we've been we've been taught to manipulate nature just like look at look at all the factories and shit we do today we manipulate nature trying to emulate nature when really nature is just what it is like we got factories to build fake apples we got factories to build fake meat we already got meat we already got apples we already got grass we got factories that make fake grass we got we like we got factories that make fake stuff that we already got naturally and they charge you for it. We got, we got, we got water. You know, we, like it's crazy, man. So this out of Africa theory makes us all believe, are oh, we primitive? We ain't got no say so in this shit. But in reality, we got in reality, we got foreigners that's not from tropical regions that came into these tropical regions to control the resource. And when they control the land, that's how they get the resource. That's how they control the resource, the farms and all that type of stuff. That stuff just come come with the land. People have to understand that this is a land grab. This is a land game. This is a territory game. We animals. Our territory them took over and control. Now they dictating and politicking about everything that go on in our territory. Why they telling you you a minority, but you and you from Africa. This ain't your land. You from Africa. Everywhere they go. I bet in South America they tell them people they're from Africa. In Jamaica, they tell them people they're from Africa. In in Cuba, wherever wherever it's dark seeing people, they tell them, Oh yeah, y'all from y'all must be from Africa. Y'all must be from Africa. Y'all must why people do that? Because they want your land. Yeah, y'all ain't from here. This ain't y'all stuff. Yeah, that's basically what they're saying. Yeah, they, y'all ain't this ain't y'all shit. We're gonna come in here and get this. We're gonna we might we're gonna get this. And then they look at it way, okay, since y'all from Africa anyway, we might well colonize it. This ain't y'all shit anyway. But in reality, we indigenous people. We are the people of this land. In any way you go in the tropical air, tropical regions, you gonna find dark skinned people. Now this uh, out of Africa theory, like I said, the Bible started it, and Darwin made it famous. Straight up, the Darwin theory made it famous. Hold on one second, I gotta, I gotta charge this this motherfucker. Yeah. All right, I got you in a minute. And like I said, all right, Darwin have made this thing famous, and everybody think this man was so educated and smart, just like everybody think Einstein was smart. But I think these motherfuckers were some dumbasses, and they were some racists. And they wouldn't get no pussy. They wasn't really living. They were some lames. They wasn't. You know, they just some just no little ragged ass motherfuckers that everybody was admiring. Cause really, in reality, most Caucasian really just start reading in the 1700s and 1800s, like on a mass scale. So you have to understand that a lot of them really couldn't even read and write when they came to America. You gotta understand that they talk a lot of shit about how you know white people are so educated. No, they. Motherfucker was just learning they shit. The reason we didn't understand they language because we didn't speak they language when they got up here. That's why they used to call us illiterate, say we couldn't read and all that because they were speaking a different language than we was. That's why I look funny in the movies when I watch them now uh, and, and I see them try to mock us about being illiterate because we don't speak European. We don't speak your language. We speak American. We speak what we speak. I can speak. I can speak to my people. They they can go speak to their people though. You know, right, the origin of humans in Africa was famously pr uh, proposed in the 19th century. That's that's the 1800 for, for for those of y'all don't know. The 19th century is the 1800, based on the presence of chimpanzees and gorillas in, in Africa, and on Huxley's comparative anatomy studies that showed that modern humans. And apes shared a common ancestor. Now, I don't disagree with the fact that apes and chimpanzees and all that 
look like us and we got we share uh, bone structure and all that. I don't disagree with none of that. But at the same time, y'all have to understand that when you look at a horse and a zebra, or when you look at a wolf, a dog, when you look at a uh, a giraffe, or you look at a donkey and a horse, you look like when you look at a polar bear and a black bear, like when you look at every genotype, every uh, creature on the planet, there's always other creatures that look like it, but they differ, if you know what I mean. Like look at a panda bear and a grizzly bear. Like they look totally different, but they the same, you know, thing. Like, 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 look at a, look at, matter of fact, look at a, a, a mouse or a field rat or something like that and a kangaroo. They the same thing, low key, but they totally different. That's how we is with the ape and the chimpanzee. We like the, we like the, the human is the species of that animal that was living in the plains, was walking out, exploring, was doing things like that. We, we came into this. I don't, I don't agree with Darwin's theory about all that. From we don't come from no monkeys, but the monkey is one of our cousins. We don't come from them. We already been us. We always been what we is. We just then kind of evolved into the things we do today, and the things we say, the way we move, the way we operate. So Darwin <clears throat> argues that the ancestors of modern humans arose on African soil. Now a lot of people would love to agree with that. Because that's giving black people uh, the 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 that, that's massaging our ego of being the greatest or the best, and we are just number one. The only thing I'm gonna give black people is we come from the tropical regions. We come from the tropical regions of the world. Everybody else come from where they come from. Now there's there are skinned people that come from tropical regions that even look different. Depends on what they eating. Depends on what type, how much sun they get. Depend on if they live inland or if they live near the beaches. It just depends on where you at, what type of foods and stuff you have. It's been a lot of humans around, but but the origins of humans didn't arose on African soil. I disagree with that totally. Darwin is wrong about that. Uh, humans arose everywhere. Now with with a Caucasian saying that. The the origin of humans began on African soil, and then had audacity to have in the Bible. They on Mount Arat with with Noah's Ark. I guess he didn't understand his religion or something. I guess these guys were thinking outside their religion. But I'm saying, if they got a origin story in the Caucasus Mountains, how they gonna have an origin story in the, on African? Usually on African soil. So I don't I don't agree with that out of Africa. White people. So called, you know, Caucasians, Asians, all, we all come from our different distinct regions of the world. Like, if you go over to Asia, everybody over in Asia, all the countries over there, everybody look like Asia. They look like even the fish, even the animals look different. Even they look like Asian stuff. You go to Europe, you go to Africa, you go to America, you go anywhere you go around the world, every region of the world, the animals and the people look like the region. America about the only place where it's just a mixture of everybody and we got these crooked motherfuckers just controlling everything. Then you go to most other countries, the majority of the people are the natural people that come from them. Like if you go up to Russia right now, the majority of the people are naturally going to be there. See what I'm saying? You're going, you already know what's going on. But America is the only one that has historically been invaded by people like this that come up and give us stories like this and tell us over here they all just because you're dark skin and you come from Africa. So I don't I don't agree with that out of Africa shit. Substantially confirmed the African origin first modern humans while highlighting many fur, further complexities. Man. Like I said, Darwin was not educated to me. And at the same time his knowledge is becoming outdated because we learning more about different species, we're coming in to finding different species, I mean, it's all types of stuff, so eventually that knowledge is going to be outdated, y'all got to understand that us as people, we come from different regions and parts of the world we almost eat organisms to live life evolved based on habitat, like I said we have named and classified everything we have discovered 
when people have uh, haven't explored every inch of the world, it's 56 million miles of land. I mean, we ain't did, we, we ain't scratching sur- surface with the world, the ocean, the mountains. Uh, 40, 49, 50 percent of America is undiscovered, un unoccupied. Like it just it just open fields and mountains and trees. Like I said, you got Bigfoots running around and shit. I mean, it's all type of shit out here, man. I mean, I know a lot of y'all might be tripping. Oh, he he Bigfoot. He done lost me now. Nah, this is real deal shit out here, man. It's some it's some crazy ass creatures. Look at that creature. Look at this creature down here. There's some crazy ass creatures. Look at these other some crazy ass creatures out here in the world, man. It's some it's some it's some big shit like that out there in the woods that you will run up on, and you be like, God damn. Have, yeah, y- y'all been understanding. That. Look, look at snakes. Look at alligators. Look at certain birds. You think it ain't no big mammal out there in the in the woods that be low key? Come on now, it's 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 clans and species of gorillas and apes that they don't see a lot over in Africa that they really just don't even see. They ducked off. They in their own look, man. You, the world is not overpopulated at all. At all, because we are a product of this planet. Breeds are based on genetic makeup. Different human breeds, different genetic makeup. Scientists say certain species died off. That's a goddamn lie. There are different types of humans around us to this day. I think a lot of European scientists want to say that certain species died off because they want to keep that narrative of we all the same. You can't tell me, you can't look at me and look at these folks and look at some other folks tell them, oh, they, yeah, they the same. You can't, you can't look at these three guys up here and then look at him down here and say they the same. Or look over here and say they the same. That's no shot at nobody. I'm saying, y'all should be controlling y'all stuff. We should be controlling our stuff. That ain't saying we should go to war. That ain't saying we should hate each other. We can still trade and mingle with each other. But I think somewhere down the line in history, back in the day, my, my 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 genetic memory be talking to me. My blood be talking to me sometimes. Somewhere down the line, we cut Europeans off from trade. We did something. We did something that made them mad. And they kings and little Ferdinand and all that. They they start going out and they had this little this little chip on their shoulder against us. They they wanted to take over trade and all and every all the resources. And that's what they did. But they they couldn't really beat us like fighting. So they had to come up with ways to take our mind from us, to help us, to, to keep us from understanding what we was and who we was. And that's what they did. That's what a lot of this stuff was about over time. Because they had to take over the resources. You know why? To keep their countries going. They didn't They didn't have all these resources in these tropical regions. It's different type of humans all around us today. And when and when these different type of humans was coming into these lands, seeing these tropical regions, seeing what we had in they they seen a price tag. We weren't looking at it like a price tag. We always had it. We always had this stuff. Our, our, our elites lying to make us accept uh, uh, them being in control of these lands. That's what I think. I think these the, the UN, the Queen Elizabeth, all that stuff, the, the, the Pope, they all kind of keeping this narrative and this lie going for a centuries just to control these lands, keep these resources going back to mama. That's why over in America, they, they claim we in debt, but they sending trillions and millions of dollars across seas. They spending trillions and trillions of dollars on military, on on this uh, science and inventions and entertainment. Millions and trillions of dollars on basketball players and football players just to keep everybody asleep while they do this other shit. They're not worried about the people. Meanwhile, we eating fake apples and shit, fake food, fake burgers and shit. We down here making twelve, thirteen dollars an hour at these little jobs and shit. Fifteen dollars an hour. Motherfuckers living check to check like a motherfucker. And 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 they talking about we in debt, but y'all got all this money to do foreign shit. That's because the government is ran by foreigners. It's ran by people like this. These are foreign people. They not from America. They not here for that. Ancestrally, historically. They have the momentum to control these lands. They feel like it's supposed to be theirs because they got the Bible backing them up and they got all these narratives backing them up that we believe in, like this one. Too hard. We, can't, we all came from Africa. America ain't ours anyway, so we might as well chill. Like I said, life came simultaneously. If there was only two humans, they had to be, they had to only be, they had to start with two everything. So you're telling me it was just two fish that started all the fish in the ocean? No. Them fish, all this shit happened simultaneously. I can't explain it. I don't know. 
You don't know either. But from the looks of things, that shit happened simultaneously. And I'm, pro- I'm I'm pretty sure life happened the way grass happened, the way trees happen. Look at look the way grass grow. Do it be two blades and they fuck and make the rest of it? it be they just sprout up because that's just what the world produce. We can't explain this shit. We ain't we ain't God. You see what I'm saying? We ain't God. We don't we done made a bunch. It's a whole lot of shit that we can't explain. All we have are theories. The real truth will always be one of the greatest mysteries of our existence. We we were there, but we weren't there. We weren't there. You know what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? We were there, but we weren't there. But we wasn't. We was there, but we wasn't. So y'all have to understand that your genetic code, your genetic memory will talk to you. Look at a look at a fish sometimes. Look at a that's why we're so in tune with nature. Look at other animals sometimes. Look in their eyes. You will you will be able to talk to them. We got the same faces. We got the same two eyes, two ears, a mouth, two nostrils, one nose. We got arms and feet, everything. If you just look at it and break it down, except like insects and stuff like that. But they they got they got eyes too. They got just in their own way. They got legs and shit too. They got a stomach. They got to eat. They piss and shit. They want to mate. That's like the main things in life: mating, pissing, shitting, living comfortably, being at home, being secure, being in your territory. But we didn't got our territory took over by foreigners because we got we it's an abundance of uh, of them natural resources. Look at this: cold climate creatures, cold climate creatures. Russia and the northern parts, they call it Mother Russia. They don't call it Mother Russia for no reason. Today's version of the map uh, is rich with mineral uh, metals and crude oil. It's a lot of mineral stuff with that too. And, you know, it is parts of Russia that's beautiful with trees and all types of stuff, but it's mostly coal for the most part. A lot of natural gas and stuff like that. So Russia, Russia ain't like just a coal abandoned land. Russia is a place where people can thrive. Straight up, got a lot of lakes, all that shit. So that's where most of the cold climate creatures and stuff was thriving and, and forming and coming to beats. And this is the way they was looking, Neanderthals. Then you go down to the hot climate creatures, Africa, South Asia, you know, all this region. You got dark looking stuff. Everything looks a look. It's, it's even more stuff because the sun is the uh, uh, the the root of life. Sun is the giver of life. And it's just overflowing with natural resources. Overflowing with all these. Why do y'all think why do y'all think cold climate creatures like coming down here and poaching and shooting this stuff and putting it on their wall? Because they ain't never seen it before. They still amazed with this shit to this day. Black people, we don't shoot shit and put it on the wall. We don't do that shit like that. If you do do it, you've been around white folks all your life. But they infatuated with this stuff. <laughs> They'll shoot an alligator and put him on the wall. If we shoot an alligator, we're going to wear it. You know what I'm saying? If we shoot a, 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 a lion, we're going to wear it. If we shoot a gorilla, we're going to wear it. They're going to put him on the wall. They're going to try to sell him. They're going to try to sell him. You know, they're going to sell the coat. They're going to sell the teeth. They're not, they not of this region. We'll give thanks to that bat and wear it. Use him in war. You know, if we slip up and kill them. But most time we don't kill, we don't poach and do shit like that. Most Africans over there that's poaching that, they doing that shit for the money, to get a quick buck. They they like, they they done, they done sucked into the greed. They done sucked into the scheme because it's just human nature to fall into shit. Can't nobody make you do nothing, but somebody can influence you. So that's just what done happened. These cold climate creatures that came down here and kind of took over in our lands and influenced us to do certain shit in a way. But in reality, years ago, like I said, even if you look at a lot of these pyramids and shit like that, we was giving praise and thanks to these animals. We was giving notoriety to these animals. These animals was um, anthropomorphic gods to us. You know, they had they had substantial meaning in, uh, to them and, and represented certain aspects of life that we wanted to reach. We want to be like the gorilla. We want to be like the bat in certain situations. We want to be like the alligator. We want to be like the lion in certain situations. You know what I'm saying? We studied this stuff. That's where karate come from. Hot climate. 
all this stuff is legit in your face but it's a lot of distractions like this adam and eve shit and all this shit that'll help you that'll make you just not think about it not look at it like that. are we all the same no we not no we not are humans different of course we're different of course we're different does our genetic makeup have everything to do with well uh, where we naturally from yes yes as long as you keep producing with your natural kind your seed will continue or did a God create us all equal? A God created us all equal. Now, a lot of people, it's crazy because I say that and people might be like, man, man, you, you tripping. Even biblical people don't believe that, that God created us equal. They're like a God created. Like, you got to talk, go talk to the Hebrew Israelites. Go talk to the Hebrew. Go talk to the Jews. Go talk to certain Christians. Certain people just ain't going to get in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Certain people just ain't gonna make it. That's that's what they believe. I'm not saying it's true. I'm just saying that's just what how they believe. And they and they Christians and Hebrews and stuff. I'm sitting here telling you, yeah, I I, I believe in God because I believe in myself, but I'm not a Christian. I don't believe in their view of God. I don't think God is no man in the sky that punish people. Ain't no devil. Ain't no hell in heaven. I don't believe in none of that. God is the essence. God is the unknown. God is whatever you want to call it. But there is no he heaven and hell, and you're gonna get punished. None of that shit. We we wasn't created, molded by clay. Uh, none of that shit. We different species on this motherfucker. We animals that didn't evolved into what we are today. Ain't nobody created us. We of this planet. That's why we eat of this planet. That's why we live of this planet. That's why when we shit, it can fertilize the planet. That's why everything around you, you can talk to telepathically. You can look it in the eyes and talk to it. A tiger can look in your eyes and tell you he finna eat the fuck out you if you don't if you don't leave. A dog can look you in your eyes and tell you he's gonna bite your ass. Or he can look in your eyes and tell you, are oh, you cool? You straight? We can talk telepathically. Why do you think you can train a dog? Why do you think? Why do you think we can domesticate certain animals? What we call domesticate. You know what I'm saying? Because this is our home we are all from this planet in different places different regions that out of africa theory is bullshit reasons for the Af out of africa theory i went over a lot already nobody is indigenous to no land so everything is up for grabs if you just start with two people in africa that means all this land is up for grabs right all right that's how the colonizer wants you to see it so he can grab it it justified the Adam and the, Adam and Eve theory, justified extortion of Africa, most definitely. Uh, fool others into being friendly, submissive. Justify the races. We come from monkeys theory. Uh, found one skeleton and, and ran with it. And also to claim that we are all the same, like I've been saying. This is the way the colonizers run off with all the loot. He done told you you from Africa. This ain't your shit anyway. Be quiet. It's like, it's like somebody slap you up and you go into a coma. But then you wake up and you go back in your house and somebody else in there and they and then you go in there and try to uh go in your bed or go in your drawer and get your money you had and they slap your ass up man get the fuck back this ain't your shit this is my shit you from you from down the street but man hold on this is my this is my house no no this this my this this is our house this you know you get the fuck on this is my shit right now that's what the fuck the colonizer did and see since we live in this realm of thinking that we was created and somebody controlling everything and we ain't got no power over nothing we just let it flow we just let it happen because everybody ain't thinking like this but i guarantee you the, the 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 realm of thinking in black people is changing into this that's why shit like this is coming out now because this is what the fuck is going on every species should govern their own species that's the whole point of this video is the whole point of why i want people to understand Everybody don't come from Africa. Everybody don't come from two people. We are all different. Everybody should be governing their own people. People, people should occupy and control their own natural lands and habitats. Like, like Europeans should be up there. Europe, there's plenty of land for all y'all, all white people. Do your thing. Go up there. We can, we can trade, whatever. Even if they want a piece of America, they can have Canada and the northern states. We can get the southern states. We can trade. We ain't got to fight. We ain't got to argue over nothing. We can do this thing. That's all I'm saying. No other species of human should be controlling other species of human. 
Europeans want to control all natural resources. So they won't go back into the dark age. That's another point too. A lot of people don't know about that, especially the young generation. They don't understand the dark age. Just go look it up. A lot of people, some people come out and say it wasn't no dark age, but it definitely was. Over a thousand years, they went into crusades and wars and fighting over resources and, and things that they needed and who's going to be in charge, what religion they was going to have. I mean, all type of shit was going on. White people white people been killing and enslaving their own people. They Why they try to throw it in our face that we were slaves. They, if you go back and read their history, they've been fighting and killing each other. They used to, they, they was racist towards each other. They used to call each other pink. They used to call each other pale. They used to call each other all type of stuff. They still do it today. So don't don't get it twisted. Like you, you think white people just all fine and dandy, and their history was just so glorious. No, they are the biggest extorters on the planet, and everybody knows that. And like I said, no other species should be running no other species. Think about this. Everywhere where so-called white people are in control, look at the condition of black people. Ain't it the same? Gangs, drugs, guns. Ain't it the same? Rape. It's the same shit going on in it. That's because they use the same tactic all over the world because it worked. We just now starting to come out of it. So once y'all understand that we ain't all the same, Thing. Y'all will understand that foreigners run America. That's why so much money going back over there. That's why they sending all this shit back to Ukraine and all this shit. That's why every time you turn them turn on the news, they talking about some foreign shit. They ain't never talking about what we need over here. They ain't never talking about the jobs. They they briefly talk about America, but the main thing is always some type of war or what the fuck some uh, president finna go over there and do with some foreign country. Africa is trying to clean house. There's a lot of African countries over there that's trying to get these motherfucking European powers out of there. And all due respect, they need to go. I don't understand why white people think it's okay for them just to extort people. Or they think they supposed to they supposed to scoot in and get some. Like, give us some. Like, we're gonna give you some, but you can't extort us. We'll give you what you what y'all need. Like hit us up. Y'all pay us for what y'all need. If y'all don't have enough resources to pay for what y'all need, then y'all gonna have to create some stuff. Y'all got people that can invent stuff, right? Shit, Central and South American countries are extorted by foreign countries for resources and control. Straight up. That's why our educational system failing. That's why our financial system failing. That's why everything, like I said, everything random. We create our own future. We gotta understand this so we can understand what we need to do in the future. We don't need no more White House. We need to restore, re- restart. This is not overthrow the government. This is, we need to change it. Like, let's let's change everything we have about our country so it can be better for people. Y'all not thinking about people now. Y'all just thinking about your pockets. Y'all not thinking about people no more. Y'all thinking about your pockets. Everything is random. Nobody is controlling the world. That's why they get up every day and lobby about this stuff. If this stuff was just in the bag, they wouldn't have to get up every morning and talk about this shit. Put their suits on and go to go to work and go in there in them offices and talk about what the fuck. Because they got to keep an eye on what the fuck going on. They wouldn't have all these cameras around. They wouldn't be hiring people to be CIA and FBI to keep an eye on shit. They, they trying to keep the power. So they can send all these natural resources that we working to create. They send this back across seas. All the, all the so-called revenue, the wealth that we uh, gaining from our labor in this country, majority of it is being sent across seas, and, major- and a lot of majority is spent on the military, so they can create these certain devices and weapons and all that just for control, just for invasions. And they talk to us and tell us like it's oh uh, like we just always under threat. People just don't like America, and everybody wants to bomb America. Man, them countries over there chilling, ain't thinking about America. It's America who want to impose his motherfucker. You know, it's it's them foreign motherfuckers that want to go in and make sure they control it, what's going on, the workforce, the resource. That's why they always talking this one world government shit. Y'all have to understand this shit. This shit ain't no game. It's happening, but it ain't happening. Like, that's why they crumbling, trying to build these underground tunnels, all the, like, 
That's why they're trying to delete the TikTok shit. It's, it's too much information coming out about all the shit they got going on that they didn't want. Because people be spilling the beans and talking, which is human nature. And then y'all got to understand that I know a lot of y'all probably like, man, you can't believe real thing. But look, y'all, y'all understand these people ain't perfect. They ain't motherfucking Houdini. These people make mistakes. Y'all think they don't spill the beans and tell stories and tell shit to people. And these people don't go and get on YouTube or get on the news and talk. These motherfuckers is not perfect. They goofies. A lot of them is goofy. Little child molester, little silly motherfucker. Don't get no pussy and shit. Don't let them suits and ties fool y'all, man. These motherfuckers is goofy, man. A lot of them is. A lot of them inbred. A lot of them nasty. A lot of them do some dirty shit behind closed doors. And they foreigners. They not from America. I don't care if they was born here. I don't care how many generations you go. Just put it like this. All right. If I take a group of American, black Americans right now, me and the group, me and about 20, 30 families. And uh, I'm going to say, no, me and 200 families, me and a million, because about... I mean, millions of Europeans came over here. Millions. That's documented. Y'all got the boat records and everything. The boats and all that shit. Yeah, ain't no boats and records of no slaves, though. But y'all got boat records of y'all. It's millions of y'all that came over here. So what if I take millions of us, black America, just black people, and we all go to Asia, right? And we go to Asia, and we, we only fuck us, though. We still reproduce with us. We don't freak no Asians. You might have one or two that go off and have some Asian babies. But we only stick with us. So let's say 300 years go by. Would you call them black people over there Asians? Like, are they just flat out Asians? No. You would call them still American Asian. They would be descendants of American Asians. They are American. They are black American Asians. They are descendants. That's what you call them. Over here in America, for some reason nowadays, we just can't see white people as Europeans. We see them as Americans. We see them as our brother. We just don't see them as Europeans. And I, I've argued with black people about this. They, man, we all the same, man. You got to get that out your head. They, I mean, they born here. But it don't matter if you're born here. You got to look at your phenotype. You got to look at what they look like, what they naturally do, and where they from, how they thinking. Europeans naturally don't see the world like we see the world. A polar bear don't see the world the way a black bear see the world. Let's put it like this. If you were to walk outside right now and it was a black bear sitting on your porch, he probably going to wave at you and see if you got some food in your hands. Son. What you got going on? You all right? Because he's from the woods. He's from abundance. He can walk around the corner and get him some berries and some, some salmon and whatever. He don't. He's not really hungry like that. But if, there, if you walked outside on your porch and there was a polar bear sitting on your porch, he's from the, the cold area where there's not much around him, even though there is plentiful. There's plenty of fish and all that. You know, there's nothing to eat. But he has to work harder for his food. If he just see you walk out the door, he's going to eat your ass. He's not going to wave at your ass. That's the mentality of a European, y'all. Y'all have to understand that. I know a lot of people, oh, man, you just motherfucker crazy. No, this is why our ancestors understood nature. This is why our ancestors was writing shit about foreigners coming. They're coming. There's a lot of shit that, oh, I done read about old time people and old kings and shit, right? About the pale man or the European white, you know, they come into control some shit. They coming in, they're not, they not naturally from here, so they're not going to treat it the same. Just like when you let somebody borrow your car or you let somebody stay in your house or use something that's not theirs. If some if somebody in something that's not theirs, they're not gonna treat it like you would treat it. Somebody borrow your car, they ain't gonna treat your car like you treat it. They ain't gonna drive it how you drive. That's how these Europeans are in America today. They're not driving this car the way we would we would drive it. And all I'm saying is, technically speaking, we need to be in the driver's seat. Straight up. But I know a lot of y'all see us out here gang banging and all that shit. But fuck all that, because that's a small percentage of our people. Majority of our people, they work. They got college degrees. They parents, they grandparents. They want something in life. It's a lot of black politicians that y'all don't know about. It's a lot of well-educated, well-rounded 
Americans, real Americans, real black Americans, real American Indian people that work for NASA, work for the government, they work for these in lobby law and do all this shit. There's no reason why we can't do this shit on our own. And, and I'm not saying we're going to do it like they do it. We're not going to do shit like how they've been doing. The whole aspect and realm of what we've been doing is going to change. And people got to understand it because we are different. We hot climate creatures. We from this area. We understand what to do with it. And they can control their region. So that's all. That, that's really all I really want to break it down to, man. We we the same. Yeah, we people. But we different. So this Adam and Eve shit has got to go, man. There's no way two people created all of us. We could, we just come from the world. Life happens simultaneously. I can't explain it. You can't explain it. Can't nobody explain it. I just think we just popped up. Just, we, we here. Everything random. Nobody can explain this galaxy. It's just here. We, we just call it a galaxy. We call it the world. We just call it that. We don't know what this shit is. But I do know for a fact that we different, that we move different, we think different, we see the world different. And people of, of whatever region you're from need to be controlling that region or where they're from. Because my most prime example, before I get out of here, I won't let y'all know, you have to look into the Sentinel Islands, the Sentinel Islands off the coast of India. Them people look just like my ass. They, they black people so-called. And they are on this island. They've been on this island for years and years and years, people say. They've been on this island since people, whatever. And they don't have boats. They have canoes, but they don't have boats. But you know what white people say? Oh, they must have they must have made it to the island from Africa when during the Middle Passage or during the some expansion age or something. They always say that no matter where they go and see dark skinned people, they say they're from Africa. They're not going to say you indigenous from their land because guess what? That's how they get the land. They're not going to say this is your land. Now you're from Africa. Y'all from way over there. So now they can colonize you. Like I said, if those people was from Africa, they would have boats. They would have the knowledge of boats. Just like Europeans in America are from Europe because y'all came over here on boats. Y'all still today have the knowledge of boats. Look at, look at y'all boat building today. Y'all building the shit out some boats because y'all understand how to move and y'all have had boats for centuries. Y'all understand boats. Y'all y'all migrated using boats. That's why us Americans, we understand Sentinel people, they don't build boats. They don't have any knowledge of boats. So what does that tell you? They've never been anywhere. They have canoes. And it's far off the coast of India. Yeah, it might have been a couple families that eventually was moving to this land from the coast of India. Maybe. But that don't mean they from Africa. That don't mean they from Africa, people. Because if they was even if they was from the coast of India, they'd have some bigger boats. They would have been migrated over there on some big and it would have been a it would have been a middle passage from India to Sinodale of boat travel still to this day straight up trade and everything but they ain't they secluded from everybody that tells me my thinking that they are naturally from that island that island is big as two or three states in america so it's big enough to harness generations of people forever so i think those people have been there forever and they naturally come from their land which indicates and proves to me that people are a product of this planet. We are animals and we come from our natural lands where we come from. Can we explain the beginning? No, but look around. You can explain that we come from here. Straight up. So study the Citadel people. Understand that the out of Africa theory is very racist. You are not a nigga. You are not a black nigga slave from Africa. And two people didn't populate the world from Africa. We've been here forever. And always will be straight up. So get into them, man. PSA, man. Everybody does not come from Africa. Straight up.